Member for Churchill, Tewat, and Okaski. Mr. Speaker, this has been a tough summer for Canadians in terms of job losses, and Northern Manitoba has been one of the region's hardest hit. But let's go back to 97, when the Liberals privatized the port and the rail line in our region and sold it to a U.S. billionaire. This summer, that billionaire shocked all of us and shut our port down. So will the government listen to the Northerners, UCT, PSAC, and so many others and bring the port back under Canadian public control? Will this government stand up for good Canadian jobs and save this vital, strategic Canadian asset? Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'd like to thank the Honourable Member for her question. First of all, my heart goes out for the people and the employees of, uh, who have been affected in Churchill. Uh, I'm di deeply disappointed in the decision by Omnitrax to issue layoff notices. Uh, my minister has been in direct contact with local leaders from the Northern Delegation, and our government has been in ongoing discussions with provincial and municipal leaders, businesses, and the community as we monitor the situation closely and evaluate the situation. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yeah.